Nick the Tech Guru here again. I'm giving you a review of the Slingbox Pro HD. This is the HD version of the Slingbox. There's right now a Slingbox Solo Pro HD, and they also came out with a new uh, Slingbox 350 and 500. With the differences in those, the 350 and the 500, they're basically just a Another way to sling up some pictures and videos from your cell phone, they added an update for that, and then they also added 1080p output. Because right now, this the Slingbox Pro HD can only do up to 1080i. Truthfully, I don't think you can actually tell a difference between the two, but um, that's just another marketing gimmick by uh, Slingbox. So Here we go, we'll get started with the interface here. It's pretty much the same as... Um, the Slingbox Solo that you've seen in the previous videos. Um, I'm just going to turn the channel here. Uh, we'll just go to uh, put a local channel here, channel 3. Basically, I mean, interface is exactly the same. You're not going to get a whole lot of um, differences um, between the interface, between the Solo and the uh, Pro HD. You're, you're going to basically... Um, basically all... All you're really going to see difference-wise is quality. Right now, because my internet's so terrible, um, I've just got it on. We'll go in here to see what I have it on. Um, I think it's just good, yeah. Just because I have terrible internet, I can't do best HD right away. I'll go ahead and do it here just just for uh, to show you what's what it looks like. It's probably not going to look a whole lot different camera-wise, but I can tell you it's almost exactly what you would see as if you were actually at the receiver. It's going to be choppy like this just because it's my internet, but uh, I just wanted to show you the quality wise what it actually looks like. I'm going to switch it back here back to good so it's not going to be so choppy. Um, but some other features on this Pro HD, it does do it up, you know, it is going to scale everything to 1080i. Um, so that's basically what you're going to see is um, as if you were watching it actually on your receiver. Quality is really, really good as long as your internet can support it. I recommend to have at least um, smooth, for being able to have a smooth play through the whole thing on HD, I would recommend at least six megs down. That's what I have now. It's And it, it can do it. It's just right now I'm streaming some other stuff on my other computer, so it's going to be choppy. Um, but other than that, um, we can go through... Uh, I uh, pretty much covered all this stuff in the previous video, so there's not a whole lot to really show you that's different. Um, it's mainly just some of the small features that they've added. I mean, it, it is a little bigger sling box, um, dimension-wise, but that doesn't really mean a whole lot. The out outputs that it can handle, there's three different ones. You can do composite HD, um, not HD, composite. It's just composite, you know, it's a three-prong. Um, yellow, red, and white, and there is also component HD, which is the six uh, six different cables, and then it has the regular just over-the-air um, coaxial um, plug, so you can handle all three of those versus on the Solo where it's only just one, so that is a nice little uh, upgrade if you're going to have different devices that you uh, want to be able to switch between. So other than that, um, feel free to comment below if you have any questions about this um, device. I do, I do think Boxy has the best sling player, um, sling player application out of all the connected devices. Because I know uh, there's like a Nero TV, and then there's a, you know, some other other things out there that have. Sling Player app, and I, I like Boxy the best. I mean, I've heard Google TV is just as good, but I, I don't have that to be able to test it. So, um, there's that. And then other than that, um, like I said, just feel free to subscribe, comment on the video, let me know what you think of this device if you have one, or if you have any questions, just let me know. I'll uh, answer any, anything that I can, and uh, stay tuned for more videos.